Making the 18 foot cutter. Refer to stages 6 and 7 for general guidance on planking the model. You can use super glue to construct the cutter, but use it sparingly to avoid gluing your fingers to the planks. Use the sequence of photographs as a guide. Adding the figurehead. In addition to the metal casting supplied this time, you will need the figurehead support bracket that was supplied with stage 86. Use a fine brush for the painted details, removing any burrs with a file. Start by attaching the crown to the top of the shield, file a flat surface on the top of the scroll above the shield and glue the crown in place with superglue. Carefully follow steps 1 to 9 in your instructions for the painting guide and adding detail using this short video as a guide. Release the bowsprit shrouds and bobstays. Hold the top of the shield in line with the top of the stern post. With the crown just below the bowsprit, mark the bottom of the shield on the stern post. Cut away the wood on the stem post with a razor saw, then glue the shield in place using super glue, making sure it is central and upright. Bend the painted aluminium motto strip around the base of the shield. Trim the ends to lengths with scissors. Glue the first cherub to the back of the shield and then glue the second cherub on the other side of the model in a similar way. Refit the bowsprit rigging, then seal and trim the lashings.
rigging the spritz sail. Drill three equally placed 0.7mm holes on the top of both round houses. Glue an eye bolt in each hole. Take the sprit sail and yard, or just the yard for the bare spars option, and tie 9.8 inches of 0.5mm thread, about 5mm to the port of the centre. This is the sling. Hold the yard centrally, under the bees, and loop the thread over the end of the bees from left to right. To make the travelling guys, tie two 500mm lengths of 0.25mm threads to the bowsprit, halfway between the middle and upper bindings, lead one out to port and one out to starboard. Tie both guys to the spit sail yard near the outer foot rope supports, rig both sides at the same time to make sure that the yard is straight and true. Pass the thread over the yard and under the yard from the back, then tie the knot and lead the spare thread aft. Use a simple overhand knot which is easy to adjust. Tie both threads to the inboard eye bolts, making sure that the yard is still straight and true. The guy pendants are rigged much like the travelling guys. Tie two 550mm lengths of 0.25mm thread close to the end of the bowsprit and knock them around the yard. The flying jib boom guys follow a similar route to the others. Tie 600mm lengths of thread to the end of the flying jib boom and leave them back on each side of the bowsprit. Knot the guys around the yard about 5mm further out from the guy pendants. Then tie the threads of the outermost eye bolts on top of the round houses. For each bunt line, tie 600mm of thread to the yard by the outer block. Take the thread down the front of the sail, underneath it and then up through the block and back to the bulkhead. Tie the end of the bunt line off to the timber head just inboard of the U-channel on top of the bulkhead. To make each clue line, tie a 700mm length of thread down to the block on the corner of the sail and up through the block on the yard. To rig the lift, tie 600mm of 0.25mm thread to the eye bolt on the bowsprit cap. Run it down to the block on the end of the yard. Back to the block just forward of the cap and tie off to the same timber head as the bunt line. Now repeat steps 12 to 16 on the other side.
Fill a hole and fit an eye bolt just aft of the openings in the bulwark on each side of the ship, roughly in line with the mast. The eye bolt should be fitted about 2mm in board. Add the foot ropes, horses, to the yard using the same technique as you have done before. Cut two 700mm lengths of 0.5mm thread to make the ties. Tie these to the top mast above the shrouds with one tie on each side of the mast. Thread the two ties through the double block on the yard running one tie through each hole from front to back. Now feed the two ties through the holes on the larger double block on the mast. Feed these threads down through the main top to the eye bolts by the main mast. Pull the yard up as high as it will go, tie the threads off and seal and trim the knots. Cut two 1 meter lengths of 0.25 millimeter thread to make the braces. Tie a single block about 50 millimeters from one end. Tie the blocks to the say just below the mizzen top. Take the long tails up to the blocks on the ends of the yard. Double the threads back on themselves and take them back to the blocks just fitted.
Tie the threads off to the front outboard eyes by the mizzen mast. Tension both sides together to make sure the yard stays square. Take the top sail yard and tie a 250mm length of thread, about 5mm to one side of the centre to make the parallel rope. Secure the yard to the jib boom with a parallel rope in the same way as the sprit sail yard in stage 109. Feed the sheets through the blocks on the ends of the yard and run them inboard towards the bees. Feed the sheets through the brass eye bolts on the bow sprit. Then tie the threads off to the second timber head from the center. Tension both sheets at the same time and make the yard square. <laughs> 